Hey grade one, welcome to science. Today we're gonna to be doing chapter 12, lesson six. This is the last lesson in this section. So remember to pause me if you need to. If you don't have the sheet, just write the number one, two, and three. You do not have to write the sentences. And then you're gonna write the answer, whether you think it's true or not true. If you have the sheet, just do it as we normally do. So we're gonna read each sentence and we're gonna circle if we think it's true or not true. So, Question number one says, we use technology to communicate with others. Is this true or not true? Number two says, technology never changes. Is this true or not true? And lastly, number three says, we can send pictures by email. Is that true or not true? Alrighty, so now we're going to look in our book. So this is lesson six and it says, what can you use to communicate? So we're talking about different communication devices. So people use technology to communicate every day, which is something that we are experiencing right now. We are communicating through Zoom and some of you might have been communicating with me through Instagram or your parents have been and also through Edsby or my email. So we have lots of different ways to communicate and then we're also using that a lot right now because of our COVID-19 quarantine situation going on. So this is a really good way to learn more about this is we're actually living it. So we use technology to take pictures, to listen to the radio and to help other people. So what are some ways you can use technology to communicate with other people? Well, down here it says click. You can use a digital camera. You can use an email to send the picture to a friend. So for example, your parents have been taking photos of your work and sending it to me through Edsby or through my email. That way I can give you back feedback and I can still mark your work and I can make sure you're doing everything okay and that you're being super, super successful. Okay, so over here it also says that we're gonna hurry because computers tell firefighters where to go. So those computers will are able to communicate to the firefighters where they need to go to help the fire, to make sure that people are safe and to make sure that they can do their job. So other technology that we've been using is Zoom. Think about us with teaching, right? And, and for you to learn. We've been on Zoom together every single day to talk about our lessons. We've done grammar and phonics and math, science. We've done it all online, which is really interesting that we're able to communicate through that. And then some of you have also been playing your Pokemon Go and stuff like that. And you've been playing that through technology too. So you're able to communicate with your friends or other people. Now on this side it says, are you at the baseball game? No, you can listen to the baseball game on a radio. So in your car you can turn the channel to a radio or maybe you want to turn on a TV. And you can actually watch or listen to the game without actually being there. So you're able to still communicate. You're able to be a part of that that scene or that what's happening in the world just by watching it or listening to it, which is a really nice way that they're able to communicate it to us as viewers or as listeners. Okay, so there's lots of different ways that we use technology to communicate. So I'm gonna go back up here and I'm gonna do these questions all over again because now we have more knowledge about this information. So question number one says, we use technology to communicate with others. Is this true or not true? Number two says, technology never changes. Is that true or not true? If you're unsure about that one, I want you to think about what technology has done to help farmers or to help loggers, stuff that we've learned about. And then number three says, we can send pictures by email. Is that true or is that not true? Awesome. So now we're gonna be on this page. So if you don't have this printed out, just write the numbers one, two, three, and four for me to start. And then all you have to do is write down the missing word from the blank. So you don't have to write the sentences, just write the word that fits in each sentence. Okay, so at the top of our word bank, we have the words computer, technology, camera, and radio. Number one here says different kinds of blank 
can be used to communicate. Is it different kinds of computer, different kinds of technology, different kinds of camera, or different kinds of radio? Number two says, a blank takes pictures to show things to other people. Number three says, a blank lets you hear th different things. And number four says, with a blank, you can write emails to friends. Amazing. Now we have something that is called alike and different. So we have to write how the telephone and the computer are alike and how they are different. So I want you to write one thing that makes them alike. And then I want you to write one thing that makes them different. All right. And if you don't have the sheet printed out, just make question, write, write down the number five. And then you just have to write down what is alike, a sentence and then two differences for each, the telephone and the computer. All right, best of luck with this grade one. Have lots of fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye.